Are you chasing shiny things? And I don't mean diamonds, but are you getting easily distracted when you chose a fitness and nutrition program and are already on the lookout for the next best thing? Hi, I'm Heike Yates. I'm the creator of Pursue Your Spark. I help women over 50 to lose body fat with intermittent fasting, get stronger and prioritize their health so they can look and feel better. If you like what we're talking about, give it the thumbs up. My husband recently pointed out that I'm trying to take on way too many things in my life. That means I see another awesome course that goes great with my Facebook ads, or then another one that teaches me how to be a better speaker, and then another one that teaches me how to sit better when I'm doing videos. And he's like, wait a second, girl. Don't get distracted by shiny things. Focus on what you need right now and stay consistent and stay the course and don't get distracted because somebody else over here is making noise and you think, oh, I need this instead. So you made a plan to get in shape that includes exercising and eating right. But then you look over here and get distracted because your girlfriend is doing this program that sounds so much better than what you thought you're going to do. Or you got this program and it sits in your inbox unopened and you didn't read any of the welcome emails or anything else. You're like, I'm going to save it in the folder and I'll get to when I get to it. Or you just bought a program that is way too big for you that you know in this lifetime you couldn't possibly finish, that it's way too complicated, too many steps, or perhaps it is too long. And this feels like Groundhog Day and everything keeps repeating itself over and over, only that you find out then nothing changes. You didn't lose weight, you didn't get in shape, you didn't build muscles, you didn't de-stress. It's just sitting there and it feels like Groundhog Day. So here are my three strategies to help you stop Groundhog Day and don't get distracted by shiny things. Number one is do your research. I know this will take time and it's not the like, oh, this sounds really great. I can lose seven pounds in seven days kind of thing. It is about what you like, what your preference is, what you have time for, where do you want to exercise, indoors, outdoors, do you need a lot of equipment or very little or none? Uh, what is it that you need for your body, for your lifestyle that works? So, and that takes some research. And number two is give the program a chance. Don't just open it, look at the first week and say, great, I'm going to do this. And then you're going to do the first week and then you go, well, I got other things to do. Remember the diamonds are dangling over here and then the work starts dangling over here and you want to make sure that you stay the course. If you decided on something after you did your research, I encourage you to stay the course, go from beginning to end and then decide if this was for you, not for you, or if it's perfect. So I encourage you to take a peek at my five for 50 Kickstarter to get you really started with doable, simple steps that anybody can do to get healthy, fit, stronger and leaner and overall just feeling better inside and out. And number three, the grass is not always greener on the other side. You look at the next best thing and you're thinking, wow, this is great, but it may not fit your lifestyle. And like I said, it may not be for you. It's not greener on the other side. Do your research, stick with it, and then make sure that you also enjoy what you're doing and stay with what works for you. It's not what works for this person or that person or that person. It's something that works totally just for you. So choose through this. And as always, my bonus tip, Rome wasn't built in one day and neither is your health and fitness. It takes time. It takes commitment. It takes hard work at times. If you've never started exercising before, or you don't know what the heck healthy eating actually is. Stay committed. Stay the course takes time and 
Sometimes we say, oh, I fell off the wagon. We never fall off the wagon. As you may have heard me say before, all we do at times, we just make different choices. So my friend, stay the course, stay focused, stop focusing on all the dangling things, and I'll see you in the next video.